Hello, and welcome to another Woody Devs video. Today, we're gonna go over all the great Unreal YouTubers who have extremely good information on how to use the engine. We're gonna go over six categories. We'll talk about one creator you may have heard, but we'll start with a few that you probably haven't seen around. There are some seriously underrated trainers and makers in this community. If you're interested in learning a new part of Unreal, this video will help you find a lot of information too, as we'll be going through each category. Also, while I think you should subscribe to all of these channels, you should maybe start with this one. This is a channel about game development and virtual production, but we do it all kind of through the lens of virtual avatars. Category 1, Game Dev. Our first creator is Lively Geek. I found this channel fairly recently, and they have a lot of really cool stuff. They started out as a Minecraft channel, but now they have a ton of really good Unreal resources. They have some really interesting stuff, uh, both about how to make games, but also how they work, like how Fortnite servers work. So if you want some broad knowledge about a number of different kinds of things in Unreal Engine, you should totally check them out. Let's talk about Smart Poly. Oh my gosh, I love this dude's stuff so much. The tutorials here are incredible. You can see they've done a little bit of everything. There's information about C++, about VR, 3D scanning. They have really great tutorials on how to recreate other games. They turned the Lyra starter pack into a battle royale and they have a tutorial about how to do that. Smart Poly is one of the best creators I've found so far on how to make online games, which is something I'm really curious about. They also have this really great tutorial on how to build a rig for a T-Rex. So like this complicated model gets a rig. It's super cool. All right, a little bonus for you. This one's freecodecamp.org. Thank you to Mr. Squarepeg in my Discord who showed me this one. This channel just has a ton of good free content for lots of different programming applications, but they have stuff about Unreal Engine and C++ as well. So if you're trying to dive into that and you need a free resource, you should check this out. Tons and tons and tons and tons of good stuff in here. It's just a ridiculous amount of quality materials to learn from and you can learn how to make this breakout game. Category number two, wow. The word entertainment was long and I didn't put it there correctly. Look, there's a number of us who are making really cool stuff here on YouTube that's just like entertaining stories of how we're using the engine. I have a couple of these. I made a video about how I built my first VR game. I made a video about how I built a TTRPG engine that let me spawn in members of my live chat in and let me play with them live. And these kinds of developer log videos are really, really great and really, really funny. And there's a couple of creators I wanna highlight who make super cool ones. Next up is Jens. Jen's videos are amazing and they're hilarious. They have this great video about how they 3D modeled all of their friends so that they could beat them up, which is hilarious, it's super good. Jen's has several videos like this that are just like really hilariously documenting the funny stuff that they made. If you need inspiration, the people in this category are, are, are where you gotta go, man. These are so fun. Starcrafts is someone who I talk to from time to time who makes just really crazy cool stuff. Starcrafts is someone who I really admire who's making really cool, interesting 90s themed VTuber stuff. He's got this horror aesthetic that is mixed with 90s nostalgia and he's constantly demaking things. He also makes really interesting real life videos where he'll buy like old tech and then he'll use it and like pipe it into a computer or feed it back into a game engine. It's really, really interesting. Next is Cobra Code. Cobra Code is incredible. Cobra Code's channel is everything that's great about game dev channels and everything that's great about entertaining game dev channels. I can't believe the amount of good work that they have out there. There's a lot of really cool stuff on their channel about 2D or 2.5D stuff. They have this really cool video about how they took the DK Jungle Beat controllers and they made a game where you could play using those controllers in Unreal on a PC. It's wild. They've only been uploading since last year, but I think they're gonna take over the world. Before we leave the wow category, I really wanna show you Xanadu. If you haven't seen Xanadu already, everything about it is amazing. Xanadu is the project of Corey Strasberger, who is a multi-talented motion capture artist, Maya artist, and game dev, who puts together just wild videos that look super realistic and they're really incredible. Well, maybe it's been a while, some of these videos are just absolutely amazing. You can check out this crossover episode with Teflon Sega, which has a really fascinating amount of world building and some great in-jokes for people who are in the streamer community. Let's talk about VTubers. I'm a VTuber. You see here, I have a virtual avatar. I'm making content with my virtual avatar. That's all it is. That's all being a VTuber is. These next creators have really great tips on how to use Unreal Engine to become a VTuber. Also, I have good stuff about that too, if you want to check that out. Am I, am I plugging too much? Am I plugging? Is this... Uh, how much plugging are you supposed to do on this? I'm not... 
I don't know. When does it get tacky? When does it get tacky? Ah, it's hard to know when you're recording the video. It's hard to know when you're... First up is Tayaki Studios. Tayaki Studios is the product of creator Corey Williams, who's making all kinds of virtual avatars and things. Corey does a really great job of breaking down process, as well as creating interesting products with the technology, like his videos about Mr. Yaki. His characters are highly stylized, and he makes really cool stuff. Corey is a YouTube veteran, but this channel is severely underrated, in my opinion. Also, don't you want to see He-Man dance? Tell me you don't want to see He-Man dance. Look at that. This is VTuber tech. This is Riku VR. Riku VR makes a lot of VTuber specific tutorials. If you want to do crazy spawns, if you want to pop weird things into your VTuber set, Riku's got you. Riku's tutorials are always insane, and his live streams are pretty cool too. Riku started by making VR tutorials and made a lot of cool stuff in Beat Saber, but now works professionally in the VTuber world. I've shouted him out on this tutorial before, but you should totally check it out. And lastly, we have Fofamit. Fofamit has tried just about every VTuber setup under the sun. She has so many great tutorials about how to do this stuff. She started out back in Unity and now works in Unreal Engine. She's made videos on just about everything. For a lot of people who are getting into being a VTuber, Fofamit's one of the first people they find when they look up how to. A lot of folks are taking advantage of Unreal's graphical capabilities, especially people working in the film industry. Suddenly we can render things in CG in real time instead of using a traditional rendering engine pipeline. And because Unreal is so fast, we can actually put it behind the camera on an LED volume to be able to use it as a digital background. We'll talk first about people who are using Unreal Engine to render things. Up first we have Miles Cable. Miles has a number of videos about rendering. There's a lot of good stuff about cars in here. And there's stuff about Path Tracer, which is Unreal Engine's way of doing ray traced everything in a traditional rendering way while still letting you get all of the advantages of previewing everything in Unreal Engine. Miles has a series of tips around Path Tracer and how to use it. Okay, you gotta check out Unreal Han. Unreal Han is amazing. Unreal Han's one of the best people putting out work when it comes to like realistic cinematics. Here's their real. Oh my goodness, it's incredible. Hana has good stuff about how to use sequencer as well as how to plan cinematics. Also, they have this great video about how you can use your phone and walk around with it to make like a 3D TV display in like this virtual production thing. And it's really cool. This is a really inventive person with like a, a lot of really neat ideas. Next up is John Jags me or just Jags as he is known in the community. I got to meet Jags at Camp MoGraph and oh my goodness, Jags knows a ton of stuff. If you go back through this channel, Jags has done a bunch of different stuff. He's been making content about cinema and After Effects and Premiere for a lot of the trends in Unreal Engine came to be. But he's continued to evolve and started to do really neat stuff. Jags has been learning Unreal Engine too, adding that to his toolkit and has been sharing a lot of good information about it. Jonathan Winbush, or Winbush as he is known professionally, is a really great creator who's been making tutorials for a long time, like long before everyone was all into Unreal stuff. Wimbush has great stuff about cinema, about After Effects, but also more motion graphics tutorials about Unreal Engine than I think anyone else on YouTube. The dude is really solid. I've mentioned him before, but definitely check him out if you're interested in getting a lot of your workflows from how you would typically do things with motion graphics and put it into Unreal Engine. A couple years ago, Epic released the MetaHumans, which is this amazing photorealistic tool that allows you to create game characters, or you can use them basically for whatever you want. They have a ton of blend shapes and controls for facial movement, and they're made from 3D scans, and this was all done by the team at 3Lateral, which Epic acquired to be able to create this tool. It's fantastic, but sometimes it can be a little confusing to figure out how to use it. Personally, the MetaHumans don't look amazing until you start to edit them a little bit. First person we got up here is Citizen Meta One, AKA Matt Workman of Cinematography Database. The Citizen Meta One account doesn't post a lot, but it has a lot of really cool meta human stuff. So I wanted to mention it, so be sure to check it out. Real Time Graphics is another channel that does a lot of cool stuff about meta humans. I haven't known them for super long, but just looking through the channel, there's definitely some stuff to check out here. Here's a time lapse of them taking a meta human and turning them into a sci-fi character. Dr. Hippo is someone else that you should totally check out who has a really great series on how to make a metahuman character creator. Dr. Hippo is super creative. It's kind of crazy some of the stuff that he does. This channel is super underrated. You can check out his series on the character creator where he attempts to recreate the character creator from The Sims 4 but use it with metahumans with all sorts of parameters that he put in in Maya. It's amazing stuff. Last up we have Solomon Jogwe who is a super consistent posts so often and is always up to date with the latest workflows 
when it comes to doing facial capture and body capture stuff. If you want to stay up to date on all things motion capture and metahumans, this guy has it. Next, we have environments. Environments in Unreal could mean two different things. We could talk about using the landscape generation system for games, or we could talk about how to make really cool organic materials. The next two artists kind of cover both things. Joe Garth is the creator of Brushify. Joe has made all sorts of great content, not only in Unreal Engine itself, with his Brushify.io packs. Joe is a super proactive guy who has a lot of really long form tutorials where you can follow along and do the same thing he's doing. Joe got started in CryEngine but moved to Unreal where he's well known in the community as someone who has made a pretty great innovation that a lot of us benefit from. I personally have some of his Brushify packs. I think they're great. And who doesn't know Punisher? If you're in the VFX community at all, you may know Punisher aka Clint formerly from Corridor. Clint has moved over to using Unreal Engine for a lot of stuff. You can find a lot of information. Many people know him from his rendering competitions, which you can see all over the place with their match cut in really interesting ways. I got the chance to talk to Clint a little bit at Camp MoGraph, which fun fact, that's what this piece was inspired by. Clint's been switching over a lot of his content to be able to highlight really cool builds that he's doing in Unreal, and he's just getting better and better at using it, and I think it's awesome. Obviously not a small creator, but someone who is still trying to push it in this space, and we like that. Now we have the generalists. These are people who have tutorials on a lot of different kind of things, and their channels are worth checking out despite the fact that they might not focus specifically on something like graphics or materials or anything like that. They're gonna have a lot of information and there's really good channels out there that have this stuff that nobody's really paying attention to. Versus Evans Bull, who is an authorized Unreal instructor. Evans makes a lot of great stuff about a lot of different things. His channel's newer, but he's killing it. He's just making really, really good stuff. This guy is awesome. You can find information about animating characters, about shaders, or even about making playable characters. His channel's already at like 7,000 subscribers and he's got like seven videos. So uh, this guy's doing something right. Particularly, I benefited from his outline shader. He's really thorough and goes through how to use kernels to be able to get a post-processing shader effect. This is really helpful for me on a recent project. Sean Foster is really worth checking out. Uh, Sean has a lot of great tutorials and they're all just kind of like odds and ends in places you wouldn't expect. You might not benefit from one in specific, but you might find over time it's really helpful to know that he's around and definitely go give him a subscribe. Next up is Leaf Branch Games, who has a lot of really interesting tutorials about a number of things. We've got asset reviews, but also really helpful breakdown videos that help you understand different concepts. There's some good basics tutorials in here for people who are getting started. Leaf Branch also has information about how to use Unreal widgets, which is something that's kind of difficult, aka user interface or widget blueprints. But you can also find some recent stuff about how to use the new shader system to do translucent overlays. And lastly, we have virtual production, aka in-camera visual effects, aka all the things that we do in Unreal Engine that take specific advantage of the game engine to be able to provide an advantage for filmmakers. Virtual production is kind of a broad term. A lot of people use in-camera visual effects to be able to talk specifically about when we're using them for things like LED walls. These people are kind of all in between. So we've got some motion capture artists and we've got some people who are trying to use the engine in a number of different ways, but specifically for film linear content. First up is Ian Fursa, who I would say like understands the deep lore of in-camera visual effects and virtual production. Ian has his own kit that you can download, the VP Toolkit, that you can use that will kind of help you through a lot of the early stages of this, because it's annoying to program virtual production tools from scratch. I would know, I've done this, it is awful. So uh, definitely check his stuff out. It, some of it is a deeper dive. It's definitely worth getting in there and finding out what he knows. I am jealous I don't have more time to be able to check all this stuff out. The next up is Joshua Kerr. This dude is really trying to push as hard as he can to make really cool stuff in Unreal Engine. He has a great tutorial here about how to track stuff in Unreal in After Effects and then pipe it through to Unreal using Cinema and I think it's really inventive. He has a number of videos where he will uh, try to build something in Unreal really quickly using pretty limited resources and spaces, which I can relate to. In general, I find what he does really impressive. This is a great channel both for inspiration and information if you're into DIY virtual production. There's a huge budget gap between different kinds of creators in virtual production. And Joshua does a really great job at making really cool stuff at a low budget end, and it's just really inspiring to see him work. 
Next is Feeding Wolves. This is an amazing channel. Feeding Wolves' work covers all sorts of really high-end work with characters and motion capture. She uses an accent suit as well as a number of different peripherals to be able to help translate things to like some of the highest fidelity mocap I've ever seen. Feeding Wolves is incredible at documenting her entire career in virtual production. I'm really excited to see where she keeps going because she keeps making videos that are just wildly good. And lastly, we have Aiden Wilson. Aiden has so many good tutorials on how to use a ton of different nodes and things in Unreal Engine that you would want to be able to actually do virtual production stuff. He has saved my butt several times before when I was working on virtual production related things. The dude has so many great tutorials on so many very, very necessary plugins and nodes and other things. If you're interested in this field at all, I think he is someone you must be following. This stuff is great. All right, that ought to do it. A big thank you to Simon Flash from my Discord who merged their list with mine and helped me come up with a couple other creators that I didn't originally have for this video. It was super helpful. Who else are we missing here? Are we missing any names? Put them in the comments below. 